let's uh, just go through this real quick. Now, there are two parts to the iron trench. Uh, the main part uh, that was on the left and the other part uh, that was on the right. Now you can kind of think of these as like two different groups, you know, just to get literary, uh, we can call one of them uh, the Capulets and the other one um, the uh, Romulans, I think. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll check it when I add it. Okay, it's fine. Um, okay, so you've got these two sides, and what happens is between the two sides, they create a village. But the village doesn't actually exist. And really, what it does is it creates many, 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 many villages. And because, in the, not because, the way that those villages are created is that you have uh, the villager on one side uh, communicating with a villager on the other side and they create a village over that gap and then they just go back and forth and 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 back and forth now the mechanism right the mechanism is there's several different components to it uh, part of it is I'm not gonna lie there are dark forces at work but not 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 a lot of dark forces, just a little bit of dark forces. And there are one, two fairies, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, three, three fairies. There are three fairies, a little bit of dark forces, um, some Nutella, and a comparator. And basically, that's how the two different uh, clans or whatever, the, the Capulets and the, the, the Romulans, uh, create all these villages. And once there's all these villages, they all create villager, or, uh, iron golems. And, uh, well, that's how the thing works. So, easy as pie.